What's up, guys? Um, about 12 years ago, I went to Playa del Carmen in Mexico with the girl that I was dating. Uh, we stayed on Mosquito Beach, had a really nice room overlooking the ocean. Uh, weather was beautiful that week, had an awesome time, did the zip line and through the rainforest. We went to the Mayan ruins, uh, jumped in a cenote. I mean, it was just a fantastic trip. Where we were at with our hotel room, we were located right along Fifth Avenue. Uh, tons of shops, all that good stuff. So we were there for about a week and we hit the, the shops the entire week. Well, we had decided that on the last day, we would buy everything that we had sold during the week that we wanted. That way we could just load it up when we're leaving and go. So... The, during the whole week, though, while we're there, um, on Fifth Avenue, they've got like a sunglass shop, a t-shirt shop, you know, and just other shops along on both sides. Well, in between these shops, there's gaps. And the whole week, there's guys in between these gaps trying to sell you stuff. For some reason, they tried to sell me drugs the entire week. I don't know why. So as we're walking... A guy would come out from the shadows of in between the shops, and he'd be like, Hey, my friend, you want something to smoke? No, I'm good, bro. Thanks anyway. Uh, what about something to tickle your nose? Yeah, no, dude, I'm good. So it was like that the whole week. I mean, guys offer me drugs all week. And the thing is, there's a guy sitting there offering me drugs, and then there's a policia standing there with a dang machine gun right next to him. So... It was just a very surreal environment. Crazy uh, is the best I can describe. I mean, just otherworldly of how it was set up. So anyway, the last day we're going, we're buying stuff. And that day was no different than any other. Everybody's offering me drugs, all that good stuff. So we're kind of at the end of Fifth Avenue about to turn to go to our room and get ready to leave. So she says, I'm going to run over here to this store right quick and get me some stuff. Do you want to go with me? I was like, no, you know what? I think I'm going to go over here to the pharmacy. I got a little bit of a headache. So she splits off. I walk down a little ways. Well, there's another guy there. He's like, hey, my friend, you want something to smoke? No, bro, I'm good. What about something to tickle your nose? No, good there too, bro. You're pretty buff, man. What about some steroids? No, I'm good on that also. <clears throat> so... I go in to the pharmacia and I'm looking at the headache medicine and then I'm looking along through there and it just dawned on me, that guy offered me steroids. This is like nothing but steroids. Like you can just walk into the pharmacia and buy steroids right off the counter. So I was just totally blown away. So I call one of my buddies that I used to work out with. I was like, hey dude, I'm in Mexico in a pharmacia and you're not going to believe what I'm looking at. He's like, let me guess, steroids. I was like, yeah, dude, it's just like on the shelves. I said, I'm here buying some Aleep or a headache. and you, I, It's just like everywhere. And he goes, dude, how do you think all the guys at the gym get their stuff? They go to Mexico, they buy a bunch of it, and then they come back here and they sell it to all, all these people. I was like, dang, that's a good idea. I said, that's a good way to make some money. He goes, yeah, I suppose. So anyway, we hung up the phone, and I'm getting ready to walk out of that pharmacy. I was like, hmm, gives me an idea. So I'm thinking... I could buy a bunch of the steroids, I could take them back to the gym, and sell them to all those guys and make a bunch of money. So, in my little brain, <laughs> that's all making sense. So, I bought several hundred dollars worth of steroids. You know, give me one of those, two of those, a couple of those. This, you know, So, I just, I don't even know what I was buying, I was just buying it. So, anyway, I put it in my pockets, uh linked up with her we go back to the room and we're getting all of our luggage and everything ready getting to head to the airport and as and i'm changing into some shorts getting ready for the flight and i was like oh crap what's this in my heart I was like oh yeah hey so i tell her look what i got i bought all these steroids i said i'm gonna take them back to the united states and sell them at the gym she's like you idiot she said if you get caught with that in the airport you can go to jail i was like what She's like, yeah, you can't be taking crap like that across the border like that. You can get in trouble. I was like, I don't need to be going to no Mexican jail. I'm, I'm 
too tender to be going to a Mexican gym. I'm just a little feller. Those guys have eaten me up. She's like, well, you got to do something. I was like, well, I spent like several hundred dollars on this. I can't just throw it away. She's like, all right, I'll tell you what. She goes, I will get you through. I was like, how are you going to get me through? She goes, just trust me. When we get there, I'll get you through. So we're going to the airport. I am absolutely freaking out. So we get up there. It's like, okay, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What, how, how are we going to do this? She goes, listen, they'll do a count. She goes, every day it's a different count. But she goes, what they'll do is they'll do a count and they'll break everybody down on that count. So she goes, some days they'll do a seven count. So every seventh person will get their stuff broke down. Some days they do a five count, some day a two count, whatever. So we're in this big long line and I can see her doing this. Da, 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 da. She goes, okay, today they're doing a three count. And she said, you are number three. So switch places with me. She goes, now you're number two. I'm number three. They're going to break me down. No worries. You're going to walk around. I was like, are you sure? Because I'm like freaking out. She goes, yeah, trust me. So I'm like, three count, three count. So I'm like, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. She's like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm counting to make sure I'm number two. She goes, trust me, you are. She goes, it looks suspicious. You're sitting there doing like that. I was like, fine. So I'm like, put my hands on. I'm like, oh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one. <laughs> so the whole way up there, I'm just freaking out. Finally, I see number three get broke down. Number one is in front of me. He goes through. I'm number two. I stand up there. So they're like, uh, do you have anything to declare? Do you have anything you're taking across the board? I was like, no, I'm good. I didn't go into any shops. I didn't buy anything. And if I would have, I wouldn't have brought anything. And look, I'm just rambling on. She's like, go, go. So she's like nudging me to go through. I'm like, shut up, shut up. So I go through. She's number three. They break all her crap down. Of course, don't find nothing. And here I had like several hundreds of dollars in steroids. <laughs> Anyway, we get on the plane, and she's mad, pissed off, won't talk to me the whole flight back. We get back late. I stay at her place, won't talk to me. She's mad as hell, so I leave the next day to go to work. Um, hadn't heard from her for a couple of days, and finally you know, finally got home. She's like, I just can't believe you did that. So anyway, we ended up getting a big fight. We ended up breaking up, and I didn't get any of my crap back, so... All that trouble and all the stuff that I got, and I didn't get any stuff back that I had at her house. I didn't get any of the steroids back that I had bought. So anyway, it ended up being a disaster. But I just wanted to tell you guys a story about the time that I almost went to jail in Mexico. Uh, first trying to smuggle some illegal steroids across the border. But, and of course, didn't even get it to end up with. So anyway, guys, that's it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.